My name is Ojo Isaac. I am the manager of Presta Royal Concept. Presta Royal Concept is an accounting software training and implementation company located in Ikeja, Lagos. Today, we are going to train you on another topic in uh, accounting. The topic is how to use Sage 50 to post petty cash. How do you record petty cash when you are using Sage 50 in your office? This is the procedure. Let's go to our our case study. The case study is here. This is our case study here. This is our case study. Petty cash payments. Now we have five questions on petty cash here. We will look at two and as an example for you here. Okay. We have uh, all this surrounded with this red ink. These are some examples of petty cash. So let's look at the first one here. The first one is on the 23rd of January 2020, repair of Toyota Corolla MS234 IKD by Ade Auto Works. Ade Auto Works is the mechanic, or rather the vendor that is maintaining the vehicle for the company. So what do we do? We go and set up a day auto work if it has not been set up. If it's already set up, what we will do is to post directly into uh, Sage 15. So let's go to Sage 15. I click on Sage 15. This is Sage 50, the dashboard as usual. I go to task. Then from task, I select payments. Then payment window will display. Then when it displays, I click on this mirror to select the list of um, of vendors. Ade Auto Works. This is this is Ade Auto Works. So it is the first on the list. I click on it. Then all the information regarding Ade Auto Works will appear. So what I will do is to record the reference, the check slash reference number. In this case. We are not going to use the check number. We are going to use the issue the petty cash virtual number in the office. The PV number is what we are going to record here because there's no check to record. So we go to the case study. This is the PV number. The PV number has, has been taken. So we go to C50. Go to C50 and log it there. So this is the PV number. PV number 0123. That is the PV number. Then the date of this particular transaction, let's say is today, which is 19. So when the the transaction takes place, 19. Okay. So after that, we go to cash account. Remember, I have said and I've told you that the cash account is the ledger that warehouse or record the transactions in your organization. The ledger you are set up to record the transactions posting or you are posted in your organization. So let's click on, click on the mirror. On the mirror, we see all types of ledgers here. We have cash uh, on hand, we have petty cash, we have UBA current account, Zenith bank current account. In this case, we are looking at petty cash, which is the, petty, the, which is the account that has been set up to record this very particular transaction. That is petty cash transaction. Remember, previously we have transferred some money, 50K, to this very particular account, and it has not been utilized in that account. So when we post this very particular transaction, which we debit that account, in which we credit that account, it means that then the account will now be reduced drastically. Okay, so let's go on. click on it. Click on it, petty cash. I selected the cash. Then I will go to the description. So in petty cash uh, recording, we don't we don't enter quantity because the 
transaction has no, nothing to do with quantity and we don't record items because the transaction has nothing to do with an item. So you go to description, direct, and enter the purpose of the transaction. Like in this case, it's what? It's a repair. Repair of Toyota Corolla. With the number, the registration number, let's look at the registration number, MS234, MS234, not kidding, MS234, I, P, D. So, you must include the number in order to identify very well. So we press your tab key. Your tab key will take you to GL. So when you get to the GL, do not pass. Wait and look for the corresponding ledger that you have set up to track that very particular account. So this is the ledger. Look at it. <clears throat> you click on it. When you click on the mirror, the mirror will display all the expense ledger. So you know this actual petty card is an expense. So you have to look for the the corresponding expense the account, the corresponding expense account for this particular transaction, which is motor vehicle maintenance expense. There is another motor vehicle account, which is a, a 61020. That is motor vehicle fuel and oiling. So now if, for instance, this very particular transaction is about fuel and oil, then we can we will select this very particular one. That is 61020. Since it is not we will now select the right one, which is uh, this very one. That is 6000. It's a motor vehicle maintenance expense. So you select it. Then go to amount. Let's check amount. What is the amount? The amount is uh, 2000 naira. So we enter 2000 under the amount. 2000. You press the tab key to see if what you have posted is. Uh, properly done. So then that ends that transaction. But eventually there are other transactions that this very particular man incur on behalf of the company. And you want to also record it here. It's possible. But the rule is and the law is this transaction must be on the same date and on the same batcher. So that it will correspond with the Recorded voucher here. Yeah, you are already done. So if they are not on the same date, we are, it's not correct. So press your tab key like this. The tab key will take you to description. Maybe this very particular man, a day auto work, also purchased fuel. You can say fuel. Fuel. How much? So go to the press your tab key. Press the tab key, go to GL, select motor vehicle fuel and oil. So that's, let's say, 3,000 naira, 3,000 naira. Yeah, with this, you have classified very well. This is part of the account classification. But if you do not record it under fuel and oil, and you, and you log it up, you log everything under uh, repair of motor vehicle, it means that your classification is not right. Your classification is not there. Right. So, this is how to classify it. Then you press the tab key. So, you can go on and on and on and on to classify the other expenses. So, that is how to record petty cash uh, expenses. So, let's go ahead and post this very particular transaction. The next thing you will do is to print or preview, print preview or print or save. In this case, we are going to click on a save because we are done with this uh, posting. I click on save. So, save now. This is how to record petty cash expenses in Sage 50. Subscribe to this very particular video so that when we load or when we uh, 
come out with any other video, you will get notification. Subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.